Mr. Flores here talking to you about fractions. Today we're going to be working on specifically converting improper fractions into mixed numbers. Let's start by looking at the fraction that we're going to be working with today. We have the fraction it looks like this. Hopefully you remember that the 20 in this fraction is called the numerator and the 6 is called the denominator. In this case our numerator is actually larger than our denominator. Um, so we call this an improper fraction when our numerator is larger than the denominator. Now if you were to name this fraction, you probably would name it, as most people would, 26, which is perfectly fine. Please never, ever, ever call it 20 over 6. A fraction is not two numbers, one on top of the other. It is a single amount that's represented in this way. So please never call it 20 over 6 or a number over a number. Okay, um, let's explore the concept that we're going to be working with today. This fraction that we have here, another way that I like to teach my students to, to name this fraction is to look at it and say, I have 20 and I need 6 to make one whole. Now if we have 20, 20 pieces, it looks kind of like this, but we only need 6 in order to make a single whole number. Now what we'll do is we'll start putting these pieces into the fraction frames and we notice that we fill up three fraction frames completely and then we have two pieces left over to fill up the last fraction frame. So we have two sixths in the last fraction frame. Now what we just did is we took 20 pieces and we divided them equally into six parts. So another way to call this fraction is 20 divided by 6. That's actually how we call it. On a side note, this division symbol that we use nowadays actually comes from fractions. Uh, over time, the numbers, uh, the numerator and the denominator, evolved, as we see here, and they came to be represented just by a couple dots, one on top of a line over and uh, one below the line, to represent the numerator and the denominator with a fraction bar in the middle. And if you remember that this symbol comes from the idea of fractions, then it'll, it'll help you to remember that sometimes we use division to operate on fractions and uh, convert them and change them and do all kinds of stuff with them. So back to the concept, what we did is we took our 20 pieces and we divided them into groups of six that look just like our denominators told us to do. And we end up with this uh, number, which we would call three and two six, three holes and two six of, a, of another fraction. Remember a mixed number is just a whole number and a fraction put together or added together. Now if we were in the upper grades, we would of course take this two six and we would simplify it and our number would be three and one third and this is what the amount is now we're gonna go through the steps of the procedure the procedure is really easy it's easy to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number all we have to do are four simple steps first we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator then we're going to use the quotient as the whole number remember the quotient is the answer of our division problem then we're going to use the remainder as our new numerator. And if we need to, we're going to simplify at the end after we have our new mixed number. So let's go through the steps one by one. First, we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. As you can see here, we have uh, 20 inside the division box for a long division. And um, 6 is on the outside. So we're doing 20 divided by 6. Read it from inside to out. And we get um, 3 remainder 2. Next we're going to use the quotient as the whole number. Um, that's the quotient up on top. That's the answer. Sometimes we call it the answer. That means it, it, six, um, 20 is divided by 6 three whole times. And then we're going to use the remainder as the numerator. The remainder, what we have left over, are two pieces, but we still need 6 to make another whole group. So we rewrite the, the fraction as 2 6 our mixed number is 3 and 2 6 and of course if we're in the upper grades we are going to simplify it 3 and 2 6 becomes 3 and 1 third and that's all there is to it 